Hi guys, it's Arel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a updated flip through of my Everyday Carry Planner. As you can see, I have a new cover on. I have moved on from my Janet Leather Velvet Sand, and I know I think I kind of showed you that I was in my white Motrin Lux. That only lasted a week because I moved in into this cover. So let's get started. This cover is a A6 size, and it's a clear, gorgeous cover from Cat Espresso Co. She does offer, I believe, A6 size and pocket, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if she has personal or A5, but I do know that you can buy clear covers for the personal and A5 size on Amazon pretty easily. But anyway, yeah, this is super gorgeous. It is highly awaited, at least from my part. I've always been wanting a clear cover for the A6. This is actually the cover that I wanted to try initially when I was just starting out with A6 because I didn't want to buy the expensive covers yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to commit to this size, but obviously I did. But it, now this is a really good cover for me to kind of be in the in-between. I'm still waiting on my new custom from Vanderspeck, so I think this is the best setup that I could have for now, and I kind of themed it for the cover that I'm going to get anyway. So anyway, so just starting out, it has, so it's basically clear everything, and it does come with pockets on the front and the back. So it has a top loading pocket on the front, a top loading pocket on the back, and on the front as well, it has a this flat pocket right here on the side and then a card pocket on the inside as well. Since everything is clear, everything is going to be see-through. I mean, it depends on what you want, if you want it to be a little bit aesthetically pleasing to look at. So this is probably the thing that you need to do is like add some cards and kind of layer them with each other. This card right here was a freebie from Cloth and Paper with my order. I have a black Ollie clip. This is a card from My Minimal Planner on Instagram, and she has a shop on Etsy, or I think she has a website now. Yes, Ginny has a website now. This is a freebie from Queen City Designs Co., and this is a card from Deeds Plans on Instagram. I will link everything down below. Oh yeah, Ginny's shop is Modern and Minimal Co., and super cool. So the tones that I have for this planner are basically white, silver, gray, black type of setup. That's because the cover that I'm getting from VDS kind of has that color scheme as well, so I'm just going to match everything. Okay, moving on. This is a dashboard <laughs> from Cat Espresso Co. as well. This is a dashboard that I have that I made myself on Canva, and it has my favorite quote from the movie Dead Poet Society. I love that. It's kind of like my theme for the next quarter. I'm trying to figure out what my verse is. This is a acetate from My Favorite Go. Vellum that I printed using graphics from You and I Graphics. I do have a code with Irene Shop on Etsy. I will be linking it right now. This is a yearly calendar from Falcon Paper. I have this dashboard that I made on Canva also and as you guys know if you've been following me I like my quotes so I have different quotes all over my planner and this one I just yeah basically made on Canva it just says every single day is a new chance to try again this I have on all my planners I believe and this is also I made on Canva I still love it so much that's why it's never gonna go away this 2021 dashboard is from Eagle Edits. The year, or my word of the year is forward for 2021. So this is a dashboard that I made on Canva. And it just has like a little manifesto slash quote about moving forward. This is a table of contents from Hey Planner Girl. Uh, she has different layouts. Actually, when you buy the whole set, it has I think five different layouts to choose from so I decided to do it differently this time and these correspond to the side tabs that I have. I have numbered side tabs and this is what contents are for said side tabs. This inbox vellum dashboard I made on Canva and I printed in on the thicker vellum that I have. 
sticky notes from Cloth and Paper. My dividers on the side and on top are from Lines Plus Paper. I have a sort of travel postcard theme going on for April, so I printed a bunch of these graphics from Canva. So they have just like different themes for traveling. Kind of just like give you guys a peek. So cute. So that's what I have as far as theme for April. This dashboard is from UNI Graphics. It just has like the section um, covers. This is from To Untwine Co. I have this transparent and solid stickies from Cloth and Paper. This section dashboard also from UNI Graphics. And let's going to move on to my monthly view. My monthly view hasn't changed. This is the custom that I had made from Simple and Trendy Co. It has my categorized to do's, my calendar, the dates, and the key for those dates. Next is my weekly. The weeklies that I'm using right now are from Rosie Pepteri. They are these. I believe it is a collaboration with Ginny from My Minimal Planner, like this is the layout that she has, but her layout starts on a Monday, but obviously as you guys know I'm a Sunday start person, so I was able to ask for a custom, so it's a pretty simple weekly view, let me show you guys this one, so it has, I've been putting in my important like to do's or events right here on the actual layout for the week and then I just have my running to do's priorities and then actual space for next week. So these are my weeks so far. Loving this layout. It's super simple. And that is that. Next is my dailies. Another from UNI Graphics. This is from Elmont Paper Co. This is from Loft and Main Co. And I am back to trying <laughs> multiple dailies. I used to have my own daily layout, which is this one. There's two versions. These are the two days on one page that I had made from Simple and Trendico, and this is the one day on one page. But I wanted to have a variety again. I wanted to try different layouts, so it's pretty much all over. This layout right here is from Puffin Pages Co. and it is pretty simple daily. It has morning, afternoon, and evening space, a long list of to do's. Let me show you guys this. This is a lot better. And it has, just has some sections right here to write whatever priorities. And I'm using this space down here to write my expenses. And then this one is a very popular layout. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. And then this next one is from Cloth and Paper. Another one from Puff and Pages Co. And then this one is from Elmon Paper Co. And this one right here is actually the daily that I had made by Simple and Trendy Co. And then this next one right here is Simple and Trendy Co's herself. And it doesn't have a timed view. It just has your priorities for the day or whatever. You can write your events, to-dos, and then some notes. It's super simple. I usually use this type of layout when I don't have a lot going on event-wise, but I have a lot of like stuff that I need to do. And then this is today, right here. And this is the one, another custom that I had made by Simple and Trendy Co. It's simple, super simple. It's two days on one page. So there's still times on there, short list of to-dos, expenses, and my favorite moments. And then I think those are the ones that I've been using. And this one I haven't used for this month yet, but I used it beforehand. This is um, a two days on one page by Genus Planner Co. And I believe that is it. Next is my feature log. I have these two stickies. This is from Cloth and Paper, and this is from Poi and Hun. They're transparent. This is from Till and Twine Co. Feature dates from Peanuts Planner Co. I have my handy dandy fold out for future planning. This is a sticker from that I got from a local bookstore. I just I put it on acetate. 
I have this Polaroid of my boyfriend and I, and this is his kind of calendar. It's pretty empty. He doesn't have a lot going on or like events wise that that's not related to his work. So it's pretty empty. And then that is the end of my calendar section. The next one is the adulting, which is my finances. I have the spending rules that I made. I have a freebie version of this that's linked in the description box if you guys are interested. I have three versions. I have the oldest version, the minimal version, and this version. Um, seven baby steps from Sequence and Paper. I also have this freebie, 10 step formula for financial freedom. Sticky notes from Urgent One UK. Vellum from UI Graphics. Or graphic, and then I printed it on vellum calendar from EO Edits. And then I have my bill tracker. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. It is her yearly tracker, and I just wrote down the bills that I have and then the dates, and then just marking it off if I paid them. I don't write the amounts on here because the amounts are written in my extension. I have several tabs with icons on them. The icons are all from Honey Inked, and these sticky. These are from Planner Press, actually. I have this order tracker insert from Symbol and Trendy Co. It is a custom. If you have her order tracker, the usual one has, instead of the source, it has the amount, but I don't write the amounts on there because I do write them on my expense sheet and my extension, and I write it on my daily pages anyway. So I just write here what source or which card that I use to pay for that purchase. And then next is my important section. I have these reoccurring tasks, adulting tasks. So just have this like checking it off whenever I done it. And then this next page that I have is my apartment information and my car information. So I'm not going to show you guys that. And then next is this dashboard from Me Paper Co. And I just added some stickies. This is from Navy Co, cloth and paper, and then these two are from Planner Press. And that is the end of my adulting section. The next is my brain dump section. This is a vellum, I believe, that I got from Michaels. This is from La Setica on Etsy. We have some Originate One UK. This write it down dashboard I made on Canva. I printed it on the thicker vellum and I have some coffee paper stickies. So first are my list section. I have this graphic that I made on Canva and I printed it, printed it on parchment paper. I like how that layers, it kind of hides it a little bit more than vellum. So I have a lot of like parchment paper slash vellum in this setup. Next, I have just a clear dashboard and I have my inbox sticky. This is from Poi and Hun and it just corresponds to how I am doing some transfer or information migration stuff. If you guys have seen my video, I will link it right now. Um, it's about how I use my different planners to transfer and share information among them. So first is some planner related brain dump. I have some random stuff work stuff, social media, home improvement, and then I have this line art vellum. This graphic is a shop on Etsy. I cannot remember for the life of me what it is. I will be linking it down below, but I printed it on vellum. Some date ideas, and then we move on to the wish lists. And I have my wish list tracker from Hop and Paper. So I have some planner stuff. Clothing, shoes, jewelry, bags and purses, home stuff, and that's pretty much it for wish lists. Next is the actual home section. This is a card from Tilly Coinco. And then I have my cleaning schedule from Simple and Trendy Co. I have daily, weekly, and monthly tasks, so I just check those off. This page marker right here is from Brooklyn Grace Co. And that is the end of my brain dump section. Next is my health section. This is from Tulan Twinko. 
This is a graphic that I made on Canva. I printed it on vellum. This is from the same shop as that other one earlier. I promised to link it down below. This is a dashboard from EO Edits. Infinite Lotus dashboard. I do have a code with Vivian. I have my weight log that I never filled out since February. And then I have my meals. I have this meal planner custom from Simple and Trendy Co. It has super simple, has all the dates of the week, days of the week, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, groceries, some to-dos. This bookmark is from Poppy Paper. Some meal ideas. This is another dash that I made on Canva and I printed on parchment paper. It just says flawed and still worthy. Love that. Clear dashboard with a key for my symptom tracker. This tabbed sticky is from cloth and paper and I printed it, printed like the symptoms instead of writing it down. I use my laser printer and I'm using stickers from the planner spot. And I am using this Keynotes Planner Co. yearly fold out to track my symptoms. This is from Loft and Main Co. Another dash from Catspresso. And I have my habit tracker. So my habit tracker is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I decided to write them down or type them up instead of writing them down. So on this first page, I have some physical health habits, productivity habits, and mental health habits. And then on the back, I have my mood, which is divided into two time periods. I have AM moods and PM moods. So I kind of just like want to be, it to be more specific. And I obviously select more than one type of mood, so keep that for a second. And I've been keeping, really keeping at it at this. I'm actually very impressed with myself because I can never freaking finish a habit tracker, but I think this is the month, guys. It's happening. I have my health contacts that I made on Canva. And I have some medical consulta consultation log inserts from the Less Lab. I also have a dental visit log from the Lust Lab. And that's it. Next is my self-care section. This is a dashboard from my minimal planner. This is supposed to be a six size and for some reason it printed a little bit smaller but instead of throwing it away I just punched it and still kind of looks good. I printed it on parchment paper. I have some self-care stuff, just notes some face stuff, and that is it. Next section is my work section. I have this vellum from New York Graphics. This is a vellum art graphic that I made on Canva, and it on vellum. Another dashboard from Catspresso Co. This vellum art graphic is from iumi.plans on Instagram. I have this Another vellum that I made, it's a quote that says, it's a beautiful day to save lives, because as you guys know, I'm a nurse. And then some work information on these two sides. And then I have this other one that keeps the tiny humans alive. And then I have my work goals, which is pretty empty. I do have my goals written down elsewhere. I just haven't put it in this task management insert from Peanuts Planner Co. I have my work to do's. This is another insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And I just divided it into four different sections. And then this is a sign up schedule for my two jobs. And then I have this clear dashboard separating my social media ideas. I need to make another dashboard actually to have it more separated. But all my social media stuff is right here. At least on my EDC, most of the planning I do in my extension. And that is for my work section. And then lastly, I have my notes section, which is pretty much notes or empty note pages. This is from EO Edits. And I just have random note pages, random inserts from different shops. This grid one is from Peanuts Planner Co. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. Peanuts Planner Co. Um, this is from May Paper Co. This is from Paper Test Designs and another one from Peanuts Planner Co. I have this Foxy Fix pocket and it just has this calendar from Cloth and Paper. 
and my routines that I made using the Pants Planner Co. layout. So this is what I take out every time I plan the new month. This is a laminate that I made. This is like flower that's, that was given to me by my boyfriend. So I just put it on there as a dashboard. And then I have this A6 size clear side pocket from Daiso that I got. And it just houses this journaling card and some stickers that I like to have on the go. Foxy Fix page lifter. And then on the back, I have several things. I have some sticky notes right here, some stickers that I use for my symptom tracker. And then I have, this is a big Polaroid of me, my mom and my sister. This is from Coffin Paper, so I kind of just like put all this together in this back pocket. I like having this big back pocket in a clear cover. I don't like using back pockets actually when, you know, for leather covers, but for some reason it works out well for a clear cover as well because like you can kind of decorate it as you want to and it doesn't kind of interfere with or, you know, I kind of like forget that I have things in my back pocket with my regular covers. That's why I opted not to use back pockets to begin with. But yeah, so this time it actually works out. So it's good. And that is it. So it's pretty similar to my setups. You know, the only things that are different are my deco obviously and the cover so it's pretty boring ish but it's a system that works for me very well so you know I'm not going to change something that's working out for me so yeah and that's it so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions on where everything is from if I if I forget to mention it in the description box please let me know if you have just whatever chit chatting just yeah write them down so Thank you guys again for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And of course, if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.